So in this video, we're going to continue talking about blueprints, but we're also going to look at how to add some interactivity. This is going to be your age old basic hello world. And what I'm going to actually use is the trigger box that we used with the cylinder in our last video when we were looking at creating components. Now, one of the things though, is notice whenever I come in and I interact with the world, you can see my object here, but we're also seeing that outline of that trigger box. So we are going to have to tweak that a little bit, which is okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come back down to the content browser and I'm going to find that trigger box blueprint. Now, before I even dive into the event graph, though, we need to come back to the components here and we need to revisit this trigger box. And over in the details here, right now it's showing a visibility when rendering for true. We can also choose to turn off as far as hidden in the game. So we're going to go ahead. I'm actually going to turn off the visibility there. We'll compile, save. And so now our viewport, if we look, I can just see as far as the overall layout here. And notice that rendering, we can turn on and off as far as the actual elements here. So with this in mind here, though, I'd like to take you over into the event graph. We're not going to get into construction scripts yet. A lot of things actually that you can do in Unreal, you're going to be doing straight through the event graph. Now, a little bit of background, you have two types of blueprints that you can work with. You have the component blueprint that we've been making here that is specific to the object, but then also to, you also have what is called a level blueprint. While you may use level blueprints, you want to use them sparingly because normally with a level blueprint that is applying to the entirety of the level file. It doesn't give us as much flexibility from being able to pull blueprints from one level into another. And also too, it can actually start to bog down as far as the loading of the level is concerned. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tab up here. And the end goal here that I want to do is I want to have that when the user overlaps on my object here, I just want it to print out hello world. So a couple of things here, whenever you're hovering, the first thing I'd like to show you is you do have a comment bubble. So I could actually click on that and I could say, start of hover to print hello world. The comment bubbles are very helpful, especially A, if you're new to blueprints to make notes for yourself, but also B, if you're working on a team and you need to be able to leave notes for your teammates as far as what the blueprints are doing. Now, the big thing we're gonna do here is we have the executable arrow here, which is kind of a hollowed out white arrow here. And I'm gonna click drag and hold and notice it says to place a new node. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, start typing string. Now, a couple of things here as far as the executable actions. Notice down here, we have a function called print string, which is what we want to use. But I'd also like to draw your attention up to the upper right hand side. And there's something here checked called context sensitive. You can click or unclick that. And sometimes what this can do is this will actually go through and you can see here like not equal to string for the variable or for the function rather notice how string is lowercase the context sensitive can be very helpful as far as shrinking down the amount of suggestions that unreal blueprints give you however if you're still learning blueprints and you're not sure exactly what the name of the function or the variable or the the macro or the dispatcher that you want, this can actually throw things off because you aren't actually seeing all of the actions that can be taken. So just be aware of the context sensitive. As you get more comfortable and you're doing searches, you'll know when to turn this on and off. But what we're going to do here is grab print string. Now, probably not the most exciting. This is a developer only. You're not going to see anything as far as actually playing through the game or if you published your game. But this is a great way as far as demonstrating how you connect blueprints. And here we have some text that we can change. So we are going to change over to the age old hello world. And I'm going to compile and save. So everything looks to be running well. So now I can close my tab. 
And if I come back in and play my game, so you can see that my character runs around here, and what you're going to look for is in the upper left-hand corner. If I run over, you see how it says, Hello World. Whenever I run over and interact with the environment there. So that is a bare bones basic demonstration of how you can actually use blueprints to go in and start making connections based on refresh rate, how the game is being run. And then the nice thing too is being on a component like that, if I needed to use this in another level, I would be able to click and drag and my blueprint would follow along with it.